You're my baby boy. I love you. So much. So much. I love you. Last night, we had a little scare with Maximus. Um, he woke up in the middle of the night and was not his normal self. He was pacing like crazy, panting very, very heavily, was hunched, would not lay down. Um, I was terrified that he had bloat. Uh, he's had the stomach, stomach tacking surgery, but that just prevents it from flipping. That doesn't prevent your, their stomach from still bloating. So the hefty part of the surgery of when the dog has bloat is when it's twisted. So they have to go in, untwist it, and all of that stuff if they can save the dog. But because that that's what happened to my first Great Dane. He was a year old. He had bloat. He didn't show any symptoms until the next morning when it was unfortunately too late. And we got him to the vet and he was too far gone for us to save him. So we had to put him down. But with Maximus, um, with my first Great Dane, we found out after he had passed away that there was the stomach tacking surgery you can do for preventing it from the torsion and twisting. We didn't know about that until after he had passed away. So when I got Maximus, I wanted to get the stomach tacking surgery, the gastroplexy, because I couldn't go through that again because he's a big dog. It's very common in big dogs, Great Danes especially. So we got his stomach tacking surgery when he was little, same with his neutering at the same time. But last night, like I said, he his stomach was bloated, he was really hunched over, just all the signs and symptoms, except for the, the, the relching up foam, he didn't have that. So I was super happy that didn't happen, but I spent most of the night with him just keeping an eye on him. He's been farting and burping a lot, so the gas in his stomach seems to have gone down a shit ton and he's back to his normal self, except for his front toe. A bit ago I talked about his toe looked broken and when we brought him to the vet it was just an infection and I think he's got that problem again in his toe because it's super swollen he won't step on it. So I've got a vet appointment on Friday that I'm gonna take him in, get her to check his stomach, make sure everything's still okay, and figure out what's wrong with his toe and probably get him some, on some antibiotics. But right now he is just relaxing and enjoying life. Thankfully, I was terrified that he was gonna pass away last night. But look at this cute little boy over here. You scared me last night. Yeah. You scared me. All right, so not the afternoon that I wanted. I've got to take Max to the vet. Something's wrong with him. He's He seems to be in a lot of pain. He can't walk properly. He's really hunched. So I'm going to take him to the vet and see what's going on. Then I'm going to come home. But yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Good morning, stalkers. So today, my sister came over. I asked her and she wanted to. Um, Matt's at work, so I wanted someone to go to the vet with because of Maximus not feeling too well and because today we find out if the treatment that he had yesterday is working. So I wanted someone with me in case we find out that the treatment isn't working and then the options we have to do. So fingers crossed and hoping that the treatment worked and he's going to get better. But my sister is here for support because she's amazing like that.
Your food, like sausages and beans. Oh god. Okay, get ready. Are you ready? Uh no, I need a torch. Start with the the the, the houses. Okay, ready? Fire! 